<laughs> They're coming for you, boy. <laughs> They're coming for you. <laughs> I'll just I need 10 minutes to get warmed up. <laughs> and I'll be in. This fight is sponsored by North Down Chiropractors, okay? Any injuries, any back problems, just any problems at all? Pro uh, Michael is a production worker. Uh, he found martial arts from watching TV. Fair enough. And um, he enjoys here? all areas in MMA. Favorite fighter is Alistair Silva, and he again doesn't have a party trick. He does have a party trick. I, I don't believe. It. How did these guys not have a party trick? They don't go to parties. I'll tell you why. Because they're too busy training. Oh, they need to. That's the answer we need. Now we've got good old Kenny Logan coming in. Hybrid MMA. Part of the Fit the Fight squad. Popular boy. So guys, fit the fight, they take 12 people around that, and they train them for 12 weeks, 3 months, train them up from absolute beginners into the fighters that you see today. So all these 12 weeks in the fit the fight program, and you'll be able to reach your dreams and become a fighter. So uh, Kenny Logan used to be a lifeguard, I can tell, he likes to wear those. Gives him the endorphins, the feeling that he's done something positive with his time training, learning new experiences, learning about his striking and his jiu jitsu, his wrestling, all of it. He absolutely loves it. And his favorite martial artist is the great George St. Pierre. Can I argue with him there? And again, Reese, have we got any more party tricks coming up for Kenny Logan? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard sell. A hard sell. Kenny Logan, international man of mystery. Here we go. Oh what, he's in good shape. That's the lifeguard coming out. I instantly felt safer since he's walked in this cage. Yeah, he's in, in deep waters now. And that's right, Deggy Largan making his first appearance of the evening ref. Let's see how this goes, guys. Here we go. Fight number seven, lucky number seven at 77 kilos. Wow, big strike, big strong opening. Just missed that there. Nice Kenny there was able to Kenny. switch him, yep. Yeah, but Michael has that underhook. Both have, a, both have underhooks, guys. Let's see who wants it more in this situation. What would you like to be both fighters to be doing right now? If you were Kenny, what would you be doing? I think Kenny, I'm looking to put him on the fence and establish some head control. Um, but also to slow it down and calm it down a bit. There's a lot of energy being spent here. Absolutely. And, and the man who can be more conservative is, is normally going to be the one that wins that position. Absolutely. Just feel the position out, get their body in the correct place. Let go of that headlock is, is definitely the first thing I'd probably try. Well, it looks like Michael's doing the right thing here, slowing it down a little, getting that good body position. He's looking for a bit of dirty boxing here. No reason why he couldn't step behind there and start some ankle trips. Yeah, Move the room in there. He could pull that leg away, maybe fight for a single leg. Kenny's doing well to fight the hands though. The he needs to start moving. He needs to start getting off the cage because he's just going to get beat up here with those leg strikes because they're just going to add up as the fight goes on. Good shots in there. So guys at home, this is extremely grueling when you're getting all this weight pushed against in the cage. That's just the ref broke it up. I thought there was a lot of work going on there. It's a horrible decision by Deggy. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny pushing forward, fighting for the double leg, guys. Right, we'll up he just needs to clasp those up. He needs to get his hands together. He needs to pull the knees close together and start pulling Michael off the cage. Yes, yeah, yeah, so he oh. goes, he goes, he goes. Get that tip down. Michael wrestles up. Absolutely, but he's, can he still not give it up? If he just drives through. Whoa, that was right on the buzzer. Do you score or do you know? Was it, did he take him down or did he not? <laughs> I, 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 I'll say to him. I'll say to What do you think? If I'm a judge, the bell went. Nope. Uh, I give the benefit of the doubt. No take then. <laughs> <laughs> How would you give that round to? Uh, interesting round. I'd probably lean towards... Michael, he had a bit more control, uh, got a bit more done. 
Interesting decision to break both fighters up, though. Yep. Interesting fight, guys. First round could have went either way. Both fighters trying to establish dominance on the cage there. Uh, good strikes thrown by both fighters. And uh, a sneaky takedown at the, at the end of the round may have secured it for Kenny. We'll just have to wait and see, but I don't think this is going to go the distance, Reese. What about you? No, I don't think so. I think um, if it's definitely not this round, it'll be the third. Here we go, round number two. Kenny Logan, Michael Allen, 77 kg. Kenny's looking fresh, big shots. Back to that same position. Michael taking that tight clinch, going a bit of dirty boxing. Rushing against the cage. Kenny has a strong overhook. He just needs to work his hips out and try and shift himself off the cage. Looked like he was going to do the there working he step He behind. just absolutely did it, shifted himself off the cage. Now he's going to start driving his opponent. Kind of connect them hands, we can go for it. But Michael's doing Free well to keep him at bay. Nice knee up the middle from Michael. Kenny needs to start returning far. Get that double leg, see if he can finish, and he can. First official takedown of the fight. Now let's see. Now let's What's see he looking to do here now? What do you think is his first kind of train of thought if you're on top? If I was, if I was Kenny, I'd be looking to control that head, just like he's doing now. I'll be looking to make a little bit of separation. Maybe try to get some ground and pound put in. There's no point in holding this situation if you're not using it to your advantage. Maybe a knee on belly would be nice to see so we could posture up and throw some strikes. Referee's but taking no uh, stall in here. Hungry for action. Here we go. See if, let's see if Kenny can posture up and throw a few strikes down. Move on the mount. He's in a strong position now. He can throw some mount, some strikes in. Let's see if we can fight for a submission. There's po possible head and arm choke if they fight for it. I think Kenny needs to start working the body a little bit more from this situation. But Michael's doing the right thing. Softening the body of Kenny Kenny's up. done a lot, a lot of great work to get this position, so I think he scored big. But it's I think Kenny takes that round about yeah, 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 I have a one apiece going into the third. Ooh, it's a tight one, guys. Tight now. That's good from Kenny. It's good to see him mix it up and go to a different area. That's why we've got mixed martial arts. If you're a master at one thing and not good at the other, you got to get found out. So what can we expect in round three, Reese? Well, I think you're going to try and see Kenny do the exact same thing and Michael do the exact same <laughs> thing that he's done. But it's who can implement it first and who can get it done. Um, but Kenny, let's see if uh, Michael, might, Mi Michael might start chasing the takedown here to maybe make up some lost ground. I feel like Kenny may be a bit fresher. He looks calm and collected. He, his coaches are telling him to do what he was doing, fight for that takedown. You see Andy uh, signaling his arms in a way around the leg. So. Absolutely, it looks like that takedown is what they're looking for. Let's see if we can get a takedown in the middle of the ring this time. Oh, Michael looks like he's ready for round three. He's up for it. Let's see if both fighters are ready. Here we go. Oh, nice leg kick open. Kenny yeah, went straight for the takedown. Lovely takedown. Just up against the cage. Now let's see if we can make this takedown work. Kenny's got our. Michael's got a wrap around Kenny's neck. If he's not careful, there could be a Von Flu choke from here. Imagine seeing a Von Flu, that'd be nice. That would be lovely to see a Von Flu, wouldn't it? Let's see, I, I, I think Kenny needs to get that knee in between him and, uh, or sorry, Michael needs to get that knee in between him and Kenny to, to break away. He needs to free him on the, on the head. Yeah. I feel like Kenny's, Kenny's smart here. He's done a lot of work, and he probably knows if he was to ride this I, out. I like the way Kenny is shelving the legs of Michael. See the way he has that the knee almost underneath? Make sure we'll have. I see it going to Kenny. I would say Kenny. 
Kenny took it. But here, we're not the judge. Who knows? Who knows what the judges are looking for? I just think Kenny um, controlled that round. Yeah, a lot more. Um, Might have put on a great performance as well, absolutely. He, he fought his heart out, and his, his striking and his, his wrestling in the cage was amazing. But I just think Kenny was able to take it with those takedowns that he was able to see. Yeah. I'd be surprised if it went another way. 